project finally back with Alpha 417 after months of doing random stuff. It is resin from the ashes and it's gotten a new life and it's ready to go. So um, I'm still working on it as you can see but right now I've just made a small little demo circuit um, that showcases the addressing uh, portion of the entire circuit. And the addressing portion just cycles through all the addresses you know and um, um, allows you to just jump between addresses and whatnot. So the two chips that I'm using, if I, um, I think I told you before, but I'm using a 163E, 74HC, 163E chip. That's a 4-bit counter with a 4-bit parallel load. Um, then the other chip I'm using is a 74HC4514 chip and that's a 4-bit uh, to 1 of 16 decoder and that this is actually what uh, addresses a, um, each dip switch memory location. And so, if I can get the regulator back in, there we go, and also, anyways, so what I'm going to be showing you now is um, how this thing actually will address out and how it will jump uh, between addresses for say um, if I wanted to just jump from a certain address con um, unconditionally so I call a jump command or if um, two values are equal I jump to one address um, for just such and such occasion so since I have two uh, four, five, fourteens on my board. One is for instruction decoding. The other is for the uh, memory um, addressing. Like I told, like I said. So the instruction decoder. Um, this is computer science 101. It just has uh, addresses whatever um, function you want to call up. So. It'll, you know, call up the uh, no op, so no instruction, um, you know, load, load, uh, add, subtract, compare, you know, jump if equal, jump if not equal, unconditional jump right there, you know, just all the various stuff. But that just addresses what um, commands you want and the circuits involved with those. So what I have here is that these uh, four these eight LEDs right here just show the actual states of the um, entire circuit. So these top four up here show the actual um, memory location being addressed um, that's feeding off of the output of the uh, 7416H3HC163E. And then um, these four down here uh, show the input for a parallel load if I want to jump and in the actual final circuit the 4-bit um, input will be loaded in from the data bus. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug it up and show you if I can get a good... Okay. So, here's what we got. Alright, so right now you can see that there's nothing loaded in it. It's at reset. There's, there, it's at instruction 00. zero. And um, the 163E is just sta um, stable. And, um, by the way, this chip over here is a 555, and that's just going to be the clock circuit for this circuit as well as the final circuit. Um, now, let's say well, I'm going to take a few scenarios. Uh, let's say I just want to do a uh, single step or just do regular counting. All right, so for final circuit, I'm going to have on the interface board, you know, single step and reset, and then the other useful functions. So single step, hit the button. Actually, sorry, that was unexpected. And there we go. All right, so I hit the button. Counts up by one, two, three, four, five, and so on and so forth. All right, so that's single step. And then if I just move the clock, move the uh, signal over to 555 output just counts up regularly alright now let's say I wanted to jump to a certain address okay 
if a value equaled some crap and equaled all that yada yada yada. All right, so um, I call up, you know, from memory, I call up, say, uh, break if equal right there, or branch if equal. So that pin, uh, that control line is addressed through the uh, 4514, and it's fed into the 163E's uh, parallel load pin. All right? So let's stop the clock pulse and just get it over to single step. All right, there we go. And reset. All right, so let's just address that um, command or call up that command. So the command for that is 1010. And I already have that wired in, hardwired into the uh, 4514. And this yellow wire right here, this is the actual uh, ad, uh, control line. So I want to load that in. Well, all I have to do is I just have to go to the next uh, clock cycle. And it loads it in, all right? The 163E, it operates on, um, the, once the next clock cycle comes around, if reset is hit or if the um, parallel load pin is um, active, if either or of those is active, it will evaluate it on the next clock, clock pulse. And master reset always takes priority over parallel load. So let's say I want to do a master reset. I hold down master reset and hit clock pulse, and it completely resets um, the addressing, all right? So that's the basic stuff. And then I just, you know, load up new address, and then if I don't call that anymore, it just counts up regularly from that address. All right, so this is basically just all I have so far. Um, I'm going to get more involved with the um, actual circuit later on down the road. I have all the uh, layout plans on the board just drawn up and ready to go. And all the pinouts and this is just the basic board layout and then just all the schematics. And here's the actual instruction set that I already uh, typed up and is ready to go. And it's all set. I just need to get the uh, board layout uh, set and ready to go and all that good stuff. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later. Thank you.